Hello, everybody. I have something very important to say. Listen, if you really love and care for the person that you're with, your mate I'm talking about, if you respect them and you know you have a good woman or man for that, please, please listen to me, please do right by them. You know, a loyal person is like inexistent. No, it's like it doesn't exist anymore, but it does. Loyal people are still thriving. The key is most of them have waken up to the manipulative games that some people play in relationships and they decided, you know, they're just going to wait and take their time, no matter how long it takes, till they know that that is the right one. Because, see, they've learned from all those whatever, whatever you want to call it, I call them cycles, cycles that you go through in a relationship. See, if you didn't learn anything from your last broken relationship, you're going to automatically carry that energy into the current one or the next one, willingly and unwillingly. The thing is, most people think that uh, they didn't have anything to do with the downfall because maybe their actions wasn't so like kaboom, but hmm, you did play a part in it. It's called codependency. If you were not acting a fool or whatever you want to call, whatever your mate was doing unto you that was so, you know, disrespectful and um, and uh, altogether just not, not, we're not going to do this. No, you know, I, I, I understand, but the bottom line is you have to be thankful that you have a great mate that respects you because there are men and women out here that will disrespect you. There are men who feel that they don't have to respect a woman because whoever they've heard that from. Anyway, if anyone tells you that they do not respect you and they will not ever respect you. My gosh, men or women, especially the women now, that person is saying they don't respect your children, even if they are biologically and especially <gasps> if they're not. Hmm. If they're not biologically, they're going to get the worst treatment ever. They're going to get three times worse treatment. But now, this type of individual is also what they call a covert narcissist. The worst type of a narcissist you ever want to encounter. Anyway, these are the mindset of people who feel that they don't have to respect their mate at all. They feel that because they're making the highest amount of income or because they're the only uh, sole breadwinner in the family, they feel that they pay the bills, they can have extramarital affairs outside the relationship, outside your marriage, whether you know it or not, because you're supposed to shut your mouth <gasps> mm -mm. and be quiet. The only thing you're good for in these people's minds is sex whenever they want it not when you want it dear only when they want it so i feel for you and i pray that you get out of this such of a relationship this type of relationship is eating you alive it's killing you at a rapid pace than what life would ever do these types of people 
don't give a damn about anybody but themselves, male or female. But right now in society, there is a slew of men gravitating over to this way of life of disrespecting women in general, and especially any ethnic woman, if, if she's African American of any descent, uh, any bit in her blood or whatever, Anyways, for some reason, that's what is running rapid right now. This is a nasty, nasty spirit that's taking over the minds of a male or woman. Women do this as well to make them think they're so superior over you because you're their mate. And these people are excessively controlling I pray for you all. I pray for you. I know what it's like. I've encountered one of them in my life before. And if you are a survivor of a narcissistic relationship, I applaud you. I applaud you. Thank God that you got out when you did. We know. We know. So I'm just saying this. See, right now, it's getting colder in the colder months is usually when certain these types of individuals like a pop up in your life, you know, so you got to be aware it's cold cuddling season and you women, you have to be held accountable too, because you know, you let this person back in your life dog on near every winter. So, you haven't gotten the clue yet? Hmm? Hello? No one is perfect. Everyone has flaws. And everyone has had, had a chance to rectify whatever their flaw is. You can do this. Just like you choose to allow this person to control you, you can choose to not have them control you. Stand on your own two feet. Now, I must say this. Excuse me. I must say this now. I'm speaking for the United States of America. I am aware that in other countries, certain types of, uh, of laws are against women. I am a, I'm not talking about these other countries. I am talking about the United States of America. Thank you. Anyway, PSA. So, now, as I was saying, look. When your children see this, you are teaching your children that they are to be less than that man or that woman. That's what you're teaching them. You're teaching them that their words will never be heard. That they have to have to walk on eggshells their entire life. No, no, darling. Let me tell you. If that's all the choices out here, woo, I will be married to the batteries. Oops. Anyway, uh, what I'm saying is I'd rather be celibate than to ever, ever, ever ever lower my standards in life to anyone who thinks I would be in a relationship with them and they knowingly, openly told me they do not respect me and nor will they ever, ever, oh, oh my goodness, mercy, how do these women do it and men? See, we forget this happens to men as well. You're not out of the code ladies hmm okay look you men gotta watch out women they do the same thing that same pretty little thing she only comes around around this time of the year she knows your schedule whatever whatever it is and be aware of them be aware she's coming to get some of jump off and some some things to buy some jump off or whatever whatever the case is vice versa male or female, please be careful. Please stop, stop being doormats. Okay? Love yourself enough that you want better for yourself. 
And if you have children, come on, they're watching. They're witnessing all of this. You can't take that back. They are subconsciously accepting this behavior. No, oh, it has to stop somewhere. Come on. You are able body and sound mind. You know that there's a way, there's someone, even if it's one person, there's someone that needed to hear this message from me. And it has been delivered. And I thank God that I was used as a vessel to deliver it. If I can help just one person, look, no one is saying um, for you to do or not do. I'm just showing you, letting you know that if you're, if you're rolling like this out in the world, my dear, hmm, then you're going to accept what comes with it. In the end, we've all understood, you cannot love a narcissist enough. You cannot give them enough. Enough. Mm -mm. I don't care how you flip it, dip it, pop it, lock it. Mm -mm, darling. A narcissist, it's never enough. you're doing is giving all your energy and your love away it's time it's time for you to give that to yourself when are you gonna do that when are you gonna love yourself you know what I never knew I could be so happy let me tell you loving myself after what I went through let me tell you I'm going to tell you all one day what I went through with my ex. But right now, I want you to know you're not alone. Yes. You have to have your spirit of discernment and your intuition on point at all times. Whether it's person, place, or thing. It does not matter. And especially in business, buddy. Listen. Rely on God for your path. Try your best to avoid people that you know that are going to send you into a negative energy. Try to avoid them as much as possible. And if you have to, you know, share the room with them, then, you know, be an adult. You know, agree to disagree. Enjoy the day. You guys don't have to shake hands and what have you, but you're in the same vicinity, etc. So you need to adjust. Now, if someone gets out of pocket with you, then, yeah, you have to handle accordingly. Of course, I say walk away. And if you can't walk away and they're still, you know, trying to, um, you know, push the situation, you may have to call in some reinforcement. You know, law enforcement, you know, and, and if they dare put their hands on you, <gasps> need I say, you must defend yourself. Okay? We hope it doesn't get to that. Either of the two, the latter, we hope it doesn't. We, we just hope that you guys, you know, anyways, anyways, you get what I'm saying. Okay? So, thank you all so much for listening. Thank you. I hope that. I hope that I have helped someone um, okay so please take in consideration what I'm saying okay life is too short and especially to be wasting it with some foolery foolish people no no darling no we're not going to do that. This is October 2021. We're not going to do that anymore. Let it end now. Okay? I love you all. God bless you and your families accordingly. Okay? And keep your head up. And just remember, you are somebody. You have to love yourself enough to say no to the foolery. Okay? 